Want to speak real Urdu from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at urdupod101.com. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Urdu. There are only two sentences you need to know. Assalamu alaikum. Mera naam Afra hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Hi, my name is Afra. Nice to meet you. Start by saying Assalamu alaikum. Then say Mera naam, then your name, and then say Hai. Please repeat after me. Assalamu alaikum. Mera naam, your name, hai. Finally, say, aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Together we have, Assalamu alaikum. Mera naam, afra hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Let's take a closer look at the first sentence. First is the phrase, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum in Urdu is equivalent to hello. Next is mera, meaning my. This is a way to refer to yourself which can be used by both men and women. Next we have naam, meaning name. Then you say your name and finally we have hai. Hai is attached to the end of the sentence and literally means to exist. In the first sentence, we have the construction Mira plus Nam plus your name plus hai. The structure of simple Urdu sentences is different from English. In Urdu, the word order is subject, object, verb. The second sentence we have is Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui can be used by both men and women. It means Nice to meet you. It is used when meeting someone for the first time. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Again, all together it is Assalamu alaikum. Mera naam Afra hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Now it's time for Afra's advice. Pakistani people do generally shake hands with people of the same gender and often hug them as well. If you're unsure, just say Assalamu Alaikum and shake hands with people of the same gender as you. However, in a business situation or with people from the opposite gender, you might refrain from shaking hands. Hello, what's your name? Kya hai? Hello, my name is Ali and what's your name? My name is Asha. Hai. Asha Ji, what's your name? In this lesson, you are going to learn how to use good manners when you thank people. Kya aap tayar hain? Are you ready? To chaliye shuru kare. So let's begin. Saying thank you in Urdu is very easy. It's just one word. Shukriya. Shukriya. Shukriya means thank you. You can emphasize shukriya by adding bohat, which means very much. So it becomes Bohat Shukriya. Bohat Shukriya. Thank you very much. So now you have learned how to say thank you in Urdu. But how will you reply if someone else says thank you to you? In Urdu, you are welcome is sometimes expressed as Aapka khair mukaddam hai. Aapka khair mukaddam hai. You can also respond to someone who has thanked you by using another expression. This is koi baat nahi, which literally means it's nothing. Koi baat nahi. Koi baat nahi. So when someone says shukriya to you, you can simply reply with koi baat nahi or aapka khair mukaddam hai. Now it's time for Afra's advice. Pakistanis do not always use the expressions for thank you and you are welcome in everyday situations. It is a concept literally translated from English. Native speakers often show politeness simply by using polite pronouns and verb forms while speaking. Kamal ji, aap kaise hain? Oh, Mahima, 
मैं बिल्कुल ठीक हूँ और आप कैसी हैं मैं भी अच्छी हूँ आपका शुक्रिया आपका बेटा कैसा है वो बहुत अच्छा है आपका शुक्रिया आपके पास कितनी बिल्लियाँ हैं मेरे पास एक बिल्ली है और कितने कुत्ते दो Want to speak real Urdu from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at urdupod101.com. In this lesson you will learn some of the most common greetings used in Pakistan. Kya aap taiyar hain? Are you ready? To chaliye shuru kare. So let's begin. Let's start with a greeting you are sure to have heard before. Assalamu alaikum. This is a phrase that is so closely associated with Pakistan and Islamic culture that it has become famous all over the world. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. The phrase assalamu alaikum is actually Arabic for peace be on you. We use it as a formal as well as a friendly greeting. It's used when people meet at any time of the day, morning, noon or evening. Use this and you will surely impress your Pakistani friends. In Urdu, using different greetings for each time of the day is not very common. When talking to friends, we usually just use the English phrases, but there are equivalent Urdu versions. They are just not used that often. If you meet someone before noon, you can say subha bakhair. Subha bakhair. For later in the day you can say sham bakhair sham bakhair but most of the time you can just say assalamu alaikum and not worry about it now let's move on to the expressions we use for saying goodbye in urdu a parting expression that we can use for all occasions is phir milenge which means see you phir milenge phir milenge The first word phir means again and the second word milenge means we will meet. Let's look at one more expression. Alvida. Alvida is an Urdu word which means farewell. Alvida. Alvida. It is an appropriate choice when parting for a long time or forever. Now it's time for Afra's advice. As we learned in this lesson assalamu alaikum can be used at any time of the day but this all around greeting is not just for saying hello but for saying goodbye as well it really is a very useful phrase and you should remember it by heart makan number 20 kahan hai wo yahan se thoda dur hai kya bas wahan jayegi ji ha barahe meherbani bus number 12 lijiye आपकी उम्र क्या है मैं तीस साल का हूँ आपके कितने बच्चे हैं मेरे कोई बच्चे नहीं हैं। हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम। माय नेम इज अफरा वेलकम टू उर्दू टॉप वर्ड टुडे लेसन इज टॉप ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्रेजेस इन उर्दू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड। हेलो 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 आप कैसे है हाई हाउ आर यू So hi and hello is basically the same thing in Urdu and we translate it as hello. It's a very casual word and you can use it with your friends, family, with anyone I guess. Subha bakhair. Good morning. Subha bakhair. Good morning. Subha bakhair aapka din acha guzrega. Good morning. Have a nice day. Dupahar bakhair. Good afternoon. Dupahar bakhair. Good afternoon. Dupahar bakhair. Dupahar ka khana kha liya. Good afternoon. Have you done lunch? I think this word is not very commonly used in Pakistan. Um instead, I would recommend to use assalamu alaikum or hello whenever you meet some person. You don't have to keep track of time as in like good morning, good afternoon or good night. It's not very common. Shaba bakhair. Good night. Shaba bakhair. Good night. Shaba bakhair. कल मिलेंगे गुड नाइट आल सी यू टमोरो दिस वर्ड इज नॉट वेरी कॉमनली यूज अगेन बट मे बी टिपिकल उर्दू स्पीकिंग फैमिलीज माइट बी यूजिंग इट यू कैन यूज इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स फैमिली एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज इट फॉर्मली एनी वे इट्स अ गुड वर्ड टू रिमेंबर आपका नाम क्या है 
What's your name? Aapka naam kya hai? What is your name? You can use this sentence with anyone, any new person you meet, just ask the question, what's your name? Aapka naam kya hai? Main Afra hoon. I am Afra. Main Afra hoon. I am Afra. So, if you observe in this sentence, after main, you have to use your name and then who. Uh, in any kind of place, you can just use it to tell other people your name. I am Afra. Main Afra hoon. Try it with your name. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Nice to meet you. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Nice to meet you. Probably you'll be using it a lot in, in your formal meetings uh, with new people. Aap kaise hain? How are you? 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 So if you have observed, I've used kaise and kaise. Kaise is used for female and kaise is used for male. Main theek hoon, shukriya, aur aap? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Main theek hoon, shukriya, aur aap? I'm fine, thanks, and you? So you can use this sentence to ask the other person uh, when you reply that you are okay. Barahe mehrbani, please. Barahe mehrbani, please. Barahe mehrbani, meri madad kijiye. Please help me. Anywhere you want to use please, just add the word Barahe Mehrbani. For example, please do this for me. Barahe Mehrbani, mere liye ye kaam kijiye. Aapka shukriya. Thank you. Aapka shukriya. Thank you. Meri madad karne ke liye aapka shukriya. Thank you for helping me. It can be used formal and it can also be used in an informal setting. Um, that's pretty much it. Khushamdeed, you're welcome. Khushamdeed, you're welcome. I would say that this word is used a lot, but not in the con context of saying you're welcome when somebody says thank you to you. This word is more used in the context of welcoming someone in your house or wel welcoming a customer in the restaurant. Ji ha, yes. Ji ha, yes. Ustad. Aapne apna kaam mukammal kar liya hai. Teacher, have you finished your work? Shagird, ji ha. Student, yes. Basically, when you need to give your consent to someone, when you just need to nod, when you just need to say yes, so you can use this word, ji ha. If you are in an informal setting, like with your friends or family, sometime you can just say ha. Ji nahi. No. Ji nahi. No. Aapne intihan ki tayari kar li hai. Have you finished your preparation for exam? Ji nahi. No. If you're in an informal setting, I would recommend using just nahi. Thik hai. Okay. Thik hai. Okay. Ye aapke saath thik hai. Is it okay with you? Mm, this word is very commonly used in Pakistan. Mostly people use it at the end of almost all the sentences just to give their consent that they are okay with it. So, ठीक है, हम्म, ठीक है, okay, ठीक है. माफ कीजिएगा, excuse me. माफ कीजिएगा, excuse me. माफ कीजिएगा, ये मेरी सीट है. Excuse me, this is my seat. Um, this word is a very polite and um, mostly used in a formal situation or i would say like people you don't know with you can use it but not with definitely not with friends and family kya waqt hua hai what time is it kya waqt hua hai what time is it you can use the sentence to ask time any part of the day is okay betul khala kaha hai where is the restroom betul khala kaha hai where is the toilet? Betul khala, toilet. In Pakistan, many people can speak English. So um, English has become a part of Urdu to some extent. So we use uh, the word bathroom commonly instead of betul khala. So if you go to a person and just say, 
बाथरूम कहाँ है इट वुड बी ओके वेयर इज द टॉयलेट वेयर इज द बाथरूम इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग द वर्ड बैतुल खला कुछ देर इंतजार करें वेट अ मोमेंट कुछ देर इंतजार करें वेट अ मोमेंट इट्स अ वेरी फॉर्मल सेंटेंस एंड आई थिंक इट्स अ गुड वन टू रिमेंबर इसकी कीमत कितनी है हाउ मच इज दिस इसकी कीमत कितनी है हाउ मच इज दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंस कैन बी यूज इन एनी मार्केट एंड एट एनी टाइम एंड बाई एनी वन मेल और फीमेल बराह मेहरबानी मुझे चेक मिल सकता है कुरे गेट द चेक प्लीज बराह मेहरबानी मुझे चेक मिल सकता है कुरे गेट द चेक प्लीज देर इज मोर देन वन वे ऑफ सेंग इट इंस्टेड ऑफ द वर्ड चेक यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज द वर्ड बिल बिल इज द सेम as in english bill like the billing so i would recommend uh, using that word more often uh, it's more understandable and more commonly used madad help madad help main toofan mein phas gaya hu meri madad kare i'm stuck in a storm help me just saying the word madad doesn't make any sense like help maybe it makes sense in english but not in urdu so when you say in in urdu you might need to add something to the word madad for example meri madad kare please help me barah e meherbani madad kare please help baad mein milte hain see you later baad mein milte hain see you later abhi main masroof hu baad mein milte hain i am busy at the moment see you later this phrase is very commonly used among friends mujhe maloom nahi i don't know मुझे मालूम नहीं आई डोंट नो यू कैन यूज दिस फ्रेज फॉर एनी थिंग फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट यू डोंट नो यू कैन जस्ट से मुझे मालूम नहीं आई डोंट नो नॉट जस्ट फॉर इन्फॉर्मेशन बट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू अ पर्सन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेयर इज अली अली कहाँ है मुझे मालूम नहीं आई डोंट नो खुदा हाफिज गुड बाय खुदा हाफिज गुड बाय जाने का वक्त है खुदा हाफिज It's time to go. Goodbye. This is the end of the lesson. If you like our video, please remember to give us a thumbs up. Please comment below and don't forget to check our website urdupod101.com. Allah Hafiz. You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. Teesra counter. Want to speak real Urdu from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at urdupod101.com. You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the 8th row in seat C. Artmi saf nashist C. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. 
On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Am tatil har ma ke tisre itwar. You are at a bus stop where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. Bus yaha nahi rukti. You just got off a bus at a bus terminal and you're looking to catch a taxi. Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? You should head east to get to the taxi rank. Mushrik. Hello, assalamu alaikum. This is Afra and welcome to our series, Urdu Top Words. And our today's lesson is top 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's get started. Aapka shukriya, lekin mein asal mein pedaishi bolne wala nahi hoon. Aapka shukriya, lekin mein asal mein pedaishi bolne wali nahi hoon. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. Aapka shukriya, lekin mein asal mein pedaishi bolne wala nahi hoon. Aapka shukriya, lekin mein asal mein pedaishi bolne wali nahi hoon. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. I would say it would be quite a compliment if you can receive that kind of uh, appreciation after learning Urdu from urdupad101.com. Mein teen saal mein ek mukami bolne wale ki tarha Urdu bolunga. Main teen saal mein ek mukami bolne wale ki tarha urdu bolungi. I will speak urdu like a native speaker in three years. Main teen saal mein ek mukami bolne wale ki tarha urdu bolunga. Main teen saal mein ek mukami bolne wale ki tarha urdu bolungi. I will speak urdu like a native speaker in three years. मैं 10 साल से उर्दू सीख रहा हूं मैं 10 साल से उर्दू सीख रही हूं I have been learning Urdu for 10 years मैं 10 साल से उर्दू सीख रहा हूं मैं 10 साल से उर्दू सीख रही हूं I have been learning Urdu for 10 years मैं सबटाइटल्स के बगैर पाकिस्तानी फिल्में देख सकता हूं 
मैं सब टाइटल्स के बगैर पाकिस्तानी फिल्में देख सकती हूँ आई कैन वॉच पाकिस्तानी मूवीज विदाउट सब टाइटल्स मैं सब टाइटल्स के बगैर पाकिस्तानी फिल्में देख सकता हूँ मैं सब टाइटल्स के बगैर पाकिस्तानी फिल्में देख सकती हूँ आई कैन वॉच पाकिस्तानी मूवीज विदाउट सब टाइटल्स वाओ दैट्स क्वाइट इम्प्रेसिव आई थिंक मैं उर्दू के तकरीबन 50 नए अल्फाज एक दिन में याद कर सकता हूँ मैं उर्दू के तकरीबन 50 नए अल्फाज एक दिन में याद कर सकती हूँ आई कैन मेमोराइज अराउंड फिफ्टी न्यू उर्दू वर्ड्स इन अ डे मैं उर्दू के तकरीबन 50 नए अल्फाज एक दिन में याद कर सकता हूँ मैं उर्दू के तकरीबन 50 नए अल्फाज एक दिन में याद कर सकती हूँ आई कैन मेमोराइज अराउंड 50 न्यू उर्दू वर्ड्स इन अ डे उर्दू मज़ेदार है और सीखने में आसान है उर्दू इज़ फन एंड ईजी टू लर्न उर्दू मज़ेदार है और सीखने में आसान है उर्दू इज़ फन एंड ईजी टू लर्न उर्दू जानने के अलावा मैं चंद दीगर जबाने भी बोल सकता हूँ उर्दू जानने के अलावा मैं चंद दीगर जबाने भी बोल सकती हूँ अपार्ट फ्राम नोइंग उर्दू आई कैन स्पीक अ फ्यू अदर लैंग्वेज एज वेल उर्दू जानने के अलावा मैं चंद दीगर जमाने भी बोल सकता हूँ उर्दू जानने के अलावा मैं चंद दीगर जबाने भी बोल सकती हूँ अपार्ट फ्राम नोइंग उर्दू आई कैन स्पीक अ फ्यू अदर लैंग्वेज एज वेल मैं तमाम उर्दू खुद से सीख रहा हूँ मैं तमाम उर्दू खुद से सीख रही हूँ I am learning Urdu all by myself. मैं तमाम उर्दू खुद से सीख रहा हूँ मैं तमाम उर्दू खुद से सीख रही हूँ आई एम लर्निंग उर्दू ऑल बाय माई सेल्फ जो कुछ आपने कहा मैं मुकम्मल तौर पर सब कुछ समझ गई जो कुछ आपने कहा मैं मुकम्मल तौर पर सब कुछ समझ गया I completely understood everything you said. जो कुछ आपने कहा है मैं मुकम्मल तौर पर सब कुछ समझ गई जो कुछ आपने कहा मैं मुकम्मल तौर पर सब कुछ समझ गया I completely understood everything you said. मैं नई और पुरानी उर्दू जानता हूँ मैं नई और पुरानी उर्दू जानती हूँ आई नो ओल्ड एंड न्यू उर्दू मैं नई और पुरानी उर्दू जानता हूँ मैं नई और पुरानी उर्दू जानती हूँ आई नो ओल्ड एंड न्यू उर्दू आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्प्रेसिव फ्रेजेज दैट यू कैन से टू एनी वन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ आर लेसन इफ यू लाइक दर वीडियो प्लीज डोंट फॉर गेट टू गिव एस अम्स अप Please subscribe down below and do check our website www.urdupod101.com. See you until next time. Allah Hafiz. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.